Hey guys, my name is I'm a K9 operator in the Okets unit. Today I'm going to go over my gear, my experience in Gaza and how I saved my dog from an RPG. This is my dog, Paul. He is an explosives detection dog. He can smell explosives from far away, far from me and my team, and he keeps us safe. Now I'll quickly talk about my gear and then about the dog's equipment. This is my K0 plate carrier. My setup is not too complicated. It's very simple, very good, very comfortable and very light. Here I have five magazines. I carry three magazines on my vest, one in my weapon, and another one on my Agilite battle belt, which I will talk about soon. Also in the back, I have a radio and a flashbang grenade for my teammates. On my battle belt, I carry a pistol and a pouch for another grenade. I also have an MD2 first aid kit, what we call in Hebrew a rad, and a dump pouch for my used magazines. Each magazine I use, I throw into here, and it stays with me. I also have a medical pouch with all the things the dog needs in case something happens to him. When treating my dog, all the information the doctor or the medic needs comes from me and I guide them on what to do and how. Most of the medical procedures needed are done by me. Let's talk about the dog's equipment. The dog's hearing protection. This go over his ears, protecting him from gunfire, explosions, tanks, mortars, grenades, and any other loud noises. We want to protect the dog's hearing as much as possible since they are much more sensitive to noise than we are. Next, we have the muzzle. This is something the dog always wears except during searches to prevent any accidental biting. We don't want any mistakes or incidents where the dog might bite someone from the team. It's just a precaution to avoid any injuries. We also have gloves for the dog. We mainly use these to prevent cuts from glass, which we've seen a lot during combat. Also in the summer, the ground gets very hot, so we want to protect the dog's paws from getting burned or hurt. We also have the dog's harness. It's pretty simple. We can attach various gear to it during combat. The dog also has a strobe, so we can see him in IR in case we are using night vision. Our bond is very strong. I've been with Paul since the beginning of my training, seeing him every day, walking him, feeding him, playing with him and training him. Everything I do, he is with me. After all the hard training and everything we've been through together. This is the only dog I know. We entered Gaza together and spent a lot of time in the war with many different units. One event that stands out the most to me with Paul was when we were hit by an RPG. My teammate was badly injured and Paul was also injured with seven shrapnel wounds to his face and three to his eyes. That event made me understand how important he is to me. All I cared about was stopping his bleeding and helping him stay with us. At the end of the day, the value of a dog in combat is huge. They haven't yet found a robotic or high-tech replacement for a dog's sense of smell. And even more so, it could not replace the bond between us and our dogs.